a quick one follow-up, Jen, on, mm -hmm. on gasoline prices. Yeah. Um, uh, we've sort of been looking at retail and wholesale gasoline prices for a while now, and a Reuters analysis shows that you know the the price gap has gone up to a uh, dollar forty cents. Uh, this is despite the president's calls to companies to uh, to reduce that gap. Uh, they're clearly not paying attention, and we're wondering what more the White House can actually do um, to get them to comply with what the White House is asking. Well, you're right. The the price at the pump usually moves alongside uh, the price of refined gas. But recently, as you noted, uh, there's been a split where the price of refined gas is going uh, down, but prices at the pump are going up. Uh, that's exactly why the president sent the letter to the FTC last week, uh, because that's not what we should see as the trend. There shouldn't be price gouging across the country. You shouldn't have oil CEOs bragging out there about the profits that they benefit from when, when prices are high at the gas pump. Uh, the FTC, as you know, is an independent agency uh, that has the discretion, the tools to look into whether anti-consumer conduct is occurring in the market. So I'd certainly point you uh, to them, uh, but we'll continue to raise this issue. The president sent a letter last week, as you know, asking them to look into this. The FTC is a long-term solution, right, John? Anything immediate? Well, again, the FTC as an independent